in this sort, we're going to look at our Latin roots D-U-C or D-U-C-T, S-E-Q-U or S-E-C, F-L-U, V-E-R or V-E-R-T. Um, we're going to look what they mean. So I put in here what each one of these <coughs> um, roots kind of means. It does. It's not going to be a direct translation when you're trying to figure out the meanings, but like duct is lead, sec or CQ is follow, flu is flow, and ver or vert is turn. Go ahead and sort them first, and then I'm going to get into the meanings when we look at the actual columns. So pause the video, sort your words into their appropriate columns um, based on which roots you see in those words, and then I'll go through and read them in just a minute. So I'll pause the video, and then I'll go through, read some of them, and look at the, how they mean relating back to this. So here is your sort. <clears throat> Let's just kind of go through one at a time. The D-U-C ones, which means like lead, you have introduction. So you're like leading someone to someone else. Introduce, again, your intra or induce is you're like you're putting someone into someone, into something. You're like leading them in. Um, that's like, like I'm thinking in medical stories here, like induce a coma. They're leading someone into a coma. Conductor, so that's the person who leads the train. Abduct, you're leading someone away. You're abducting them. <clears throat> Reduce, you're kind of unleading someone because you're re, you're, you're, you're reduce, you're like taking stuff away, you're reducing stuff. So I'm thinking you're like taking things away, you're leading someone away from things. Again, it's kind of tricky to get directly back to the word lead. Let's go over here to some of these words here. We have sequel, consequence, subsequent, sect, and consecutive. And that those all have to do with follow. Like a sect is like a following. Um, a lot of times when I think of sect, I think when I learned about the different parts of the different sects in a religion, like in Christianity, there's like different types of um, sects. Um, we have, I think, like Baptists and Lutherans and Protestants. Those are different sections or followings of it. Uh, sequel, that's the following movie. Consequence, it's what happens following an action. Um, subsequent, that's the next thing that happens consecutive, is things in order. So those all kind of follow, are in order. Flu, I mean, mean flow, fluid, and it's the fluids flow. Fluent, and it's like if I can speak a language fluently, like I can speak English fluently, it's almost like it flows out of you. Um, influx is something that's kind of in change and can be changed back and forth, like fluid, like I can dump fluid between cups. Um, affluence. I guess that means that you're flowing with wealth and money. Um, fluctuate, you're, you're flowing back and forth between different ideas. You're fluctuating. Superfluous, hmm, I wonder what this one means. I'm thinking it's, I mean, I've heard the word before. It means like someone who's just very over the top, I believe. So I wonder exactly what it means using like that flow. Try and figure that one out. Look it up in dictionary. Um, vert or vert. Interesting thing here, this means like turn. One word I knew was like vertigo. That's like someone who's like getting dizziness and having trouble staying balanced. And so like, think about that. You're turning around. Convert, you're changing someone. Inverse, you're doing the opposite. So you're turning it backwards. Reverse, you're going backwards the opposite direction. Um, extrovert. This is interesting because like, I think of an extrovert as someone who is out there and talks to a lot of people and is really friendly. So I wonder how that connects to the meaning of turn. Hmm. Interesting thing to think about. All right, so these are your words um, for Latin roots, duct, sec, flu, ver, and vert.